welcome to engineering visualization channel so today we are going to solve uh, the model question number 2 vtu cad so here in the question number 1 given it is a circular lamina inclined to the vp appears in the front view as an ellipse of major axis 60 mm and minor axis 40 mm the major axis is parallel to both the hp and vp one end of the minor axis is in the both the hp and vp Draw the projection of the lamina and determine the inclination of the lamina with the HP plane. So in this problem, we have to use the dimensions of the ellipse that is major and minor axis. Okay, circle dimensions they have not given and it is occurs in the front view. That is, we need to use major axis of the ellipse 660 mm in order to construct the circle. Okay, this is one of the special type of problem. Okay. So in this problem, they have not given any kind of inclination. We have to use the data which is given in the problem to solve the problem. Okay. So first, uh, we'll be drawing an XY line and writing VPHB. Okay. So here, uh, the first position will be in circle, but for that circle, they have not given any, any dimensions, but they have mentioned the dimensions for the ellipse that is major axis 60 mm and minor axis 40 mm so the major axis of the ellipse will be the same dimension as that of the circle okay so this is i think uh, the last problems what we get in the solution book okay so that means you can expect any question in the exam because uh, this time the question paper it is coming from the video you can expect any problem okay so better to refer uh, all the types of uh, problem with the solution okay here i'll be constructing a circle using center method so diameter will take directly the major axis dimension here okay So in the question given the major axis it is 60 mm that means we'll take the same diameter that is 60 enter okay now we need to divide this circle into four equal parts so watch the video till the end so you can understand the concept and how to construct in the solid edge software i think uh, this problem i think i have not uh, done in my youtube channel so using extend to next command you can extend these lines now write down the namings and uh, draw the projection lines downward to construct the top view Read on the notations and then project the lines downward to complete the top view here. okay so so if you want the solution of all the problems in the drawing subject so you can subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications you can get 
and share to your friends and classmates in the whatsapp group so that they also can be benefited from this draw the projection lines downward to complete the top view so here i am finding little difficulty in this software because it taking uh, too much time to load okay that's why i'm otherwise i could have uh, done this problem within 10 minutes as i'm clicking and dragging out it is taking uh, more time i don't know okay so first position we have done now we'll write the namings of the top view Last week around 11,000 uh, people have been watched my channel but out of 11,000 only 150 students have subscribed so I request uh, the students who are watching my channel so please subscribe okay so that um, it will be beneficial for me also okay Okay, now in the second position we have to draw the ellipse here because we don't have any kind of inclinations in the problem okay so here the major axis dimensions it is 60 and minor it is 40 we have to use these major and minor axis to construct the ellipse here in the second position then after that uh, we will find out the angle okay so for that what i'll do i'll be just projecting this major axis dimensions horizontally okay this is also the 60 mm only the major axis and then from the middle i'll consider the minor axis distance 40 mm that is i'll be drawing on the either side by 20 20 mm you can see in the question so minor axis 40 40 means 20 20 mm we have to draw on either sides Now draw the ellipse by using ellipse by center point. Okay. Guys, uh, you are having exam after say some one month. So you may be forgetting all the concepts. So my recommendation is that you can uh, refer my channel for revision purpose. Okay. Because I have done the problems both in sketchbook and in, in solid software so that you can revise easily with uh, minimal time it doesn't take too much time for revision because the problems were done in a um, very stipulated manner so that uh, every student can understand it easily and within very less time you can revise it because uh, you may be forgetting all the concepts like normal type beta angle like that okay so my request is that you can refer because with respect to the playlist i have created all the content with respect to the video syllabus right projection of points projection of lines or it can be projection of planes projection of solids okay isometric projection and development of lateral surface of solids so with respect to the playlist i have created separate playlist say for sketching also separate playlist is there and for uh, this uh, practicing in the system that is using solid software so that is also i have created separately you can refer those videos so it can be helpful so 
no need to worry that you don't have enough time for practicing after the theory exams you have only say one one day so it's better uh, what i recommend is that after your theory exam say uh, not like theory you can't able to revise in one day say in between the theory exams like you will be 